Hey guys, here's the start of a series of videos of how I do my custom RC airplanes. Just one disclaimer, there is in no wise am I promoting any of you do my techniques. Please do your plane the way you want to do it. First, I've got to strip the plane down to the white foam. And I do that with either acetone or you can do it with packing tape. Now, getting the decals off, if I don't have to get, like this plane here just had the red nose. So all I had to do was take the decals off by peeling them or by using um, ice, rubbing it with ice, can peel off a decal, or I can use acetone. Once the plane is down to foam, I give it a quick wipe with alcohol. Then I put polyurethane on my plane. Now, this Minwax doesn't matter what brand it is as far as gloss or flat, because you're going to, this product must be sanded between each coat. You must wait two hours between each coat using 220 grit sandpaper. Now, the spray on is nicer, puts a nice even flow, but doesn't put it on thick. I need for my planes to be thick so that I don't see the gator effect in the summertime due to the fact that the sun is going to pop that EPO foam. You can use a brush foam or you can use a regular bristle brush. doesn't matter because you're going to sand each coat. Now, when I get it polyurethane, then I put my primer on. Wet sand my primer with 320 up to 600 to get a smooth finish. After it's clean and wiped down, then I go back and start doing my detail with my riveting. Once that's done, then I'm going to be ready to shoot uh, my black on to detail these rivet lines. After that, then it comes the color. So that's a quick look over my shoulder on how I do things. And I repeat, you do not have to do anything that I do because these are just my techniques that I do in my shop. So I'll see you on the next video and that will deal with more painting of the MIG.